Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm David, one of the cash register guys here at National Business Systems, also known as the cash register guys. What I wanted to show you today was the SAM 4S SPS 520RT. The 520 is made in two different models, and that's why I said RT. There's an FT, which has a flat keyboard, and then this is the RT. And what the RT means is it has raised keys or raised buttons. So if you'll notice, these are individual buttons and they're raised. The other version of this machine is the 520F. It has a flat keyboard with a big rubber overlay and a paper template under it. But this is the known as the 520R or the 520RT, the same thing. The 520R was designed primarily for retail in mind. Works fantastic in C stores, liquor stores, smoke shops, grocery stores, uh, anything where you're selling a lot of items, you're keying in prices, you're keying in UPCs, whatever it might be. Now, there's also a 530R and a 530F. So that they get pretty confusing with their model numbers. But this is a 520R. The 20 part, the 520, just indicates that this particular machine has a receipt printer and a journal printer. So the journal printer is stored inside your machine. It just rolls up as you use the machine. It's recording everything you've done, and it stays on the journal. A journal is also commonly referred to as an audit tape, as where the receipt printer is going to print a receipt on demand. You can turn it off if you would like, and it will auto-cut that receipt for you. Most of our customers, I would say, leave the receipt off and just get a receipt on demand. Um, so as far as the register itself, we've kind of gone over the keyboard. It's a 15 button configuration straight from the factory. Although if you're using scanning, you'll very rarely use these buttons. It's a two station printer again, like we talked about. It has a seven inch color touchscreen. The touchscreen can be used to sell items if you would like. And it's also where you're gonna do all of your programming and reporting. Your mode lock is here. This is your key mode lock goes from void to program to a service mode that's unmarked and you have keys that only allow it to turn certain places so you have security. The register's got a great cash drawer. This is a five bill, five coin insert. An insert's also known as a till, cash drawer insert or till. Um, this is a hardened plastic but the bill weights are metal and the rib back here is metal, the springs are metal. Very durable uh, till. The drawer itself is metal, the part that comes in and out. And so we're going to put that back in there. It does lock in place, so I can't just lift it straight up. And it does have media slots here. This button or sticker that you see here, sorry, not a button, this sticker, this just indicates what drawer is mounted on this re register. This is a SAM 4S Model 60 drawer. That's their newest drawer. They don't change drawers very often, but it is important when you go to order a new insert. You notice it's got a USB port here on the front. This USB port on the front is used to back the machine up, or you can plug a keyboard into it, a Windows keyboard, to do your programming. This register has a rear display. This is a factory mounted rear display. It's a simple display. It's just showing you what you've sold or your change here and the, the amounts. There are optional displays available as well as this one. So on this particular machine, we have a barcode scanner attached to it. The scanners are optional. There's a lot of different scanners that you can choose. This happens to be the 3780 or the Fusion. I don't know if you can see it down here, all the red lines of it showing up in the video. This is a omnidirectional scanner. So rather than one line of laser, you can see it has this whole pattern or grid that makes it a much faster scanner than a single line. Also over here, I've connected to it a barcode printer. This is completely optional, but this register is capable of printing barcode labels for items or shelf tags. This is a two inch model. You would go into programming and tell the machine how many you would like. So let's just ring up a quick transaction. I'm gonna use the scanner. So this scanner is called a presentation scanner because it's in a stand it's ready for you to just wave items in front of it. So as soon as I wave items in front of it, it sells them. And you can see it's a pretty fast scanner. Now, 
we've got all of our items here. We've got a subtotal always with our with our tax, and so we're going to tender um, let's tender ten dollars cash. Drawer pops open, receipt prints. This paper, by the way, is two and a quarter inch thermal. These are thermal printers, both of them. So you never need an inking device. No ribbon, no roller. It's always thermal. Real common thermal paper, two and a quarter inch. So <clears throat> that's the machine in a nutshell. If you add memory to it, which is a very inexpensive option, you can have up to 50, 60,000 UPCs in it. It's capable of daily reports, monthly reports, and other period to date reports. It's a great register. We have them installed all over the United States and Canada in convenience stores, liquor stores, smoke shops, and the like. Uh, SAM4S is coming out, has already come out with its replacement. We're still selling these. We still have them in stock. Um, but if you're looking something long term, you might want to take a look at the new SAM4S register, which is the SAP 530R. Um, so if you have any questions at all, give us a call. We're the Cash Register Guys. You can find us online at cashregisterguys.com. You can also reach us at 1-800-863-2274. If you have any questions at all, we'd love to do business with you. Uh, we offer service and support if you already own this register and you're just looking for some support. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.